Hi YouTube, this is, um, let's see if you can see me better, okay. Hey YouTube, this is a new Mamma Mia coming to you with um, a brief update. I am out of the hospital, um, I was feeling quite a bit of um, pain um, upon returning to my fian boyfriend, fiance, I guess, um, his house. Um, um, I bought, um, my prescriptions, which the doctor gave me, liquid lower tab for pain, and it, um, really does help cut it, uh, cut the pain. Um, I am still having some, um, difficulty, um, breathing in all the way because of the, um, hiatal hernia, um, incisions, um, and I guess I, I explained that to you guys. Um, so the hiatal hernia was at the base of my esophagus where the esophagus and the stomach meet. Um, so they went and they fixed that up, sutured that up. And that tightness is what is uh, causing so much pain. Um, my boyfriend or fiancé is going off to get... Um, crushed ice from Sonic for me, a bag of crushed ice, um, because I really like that ice, um, and it really helped me get a lot of my liquids in, um, I'm doing a pretty okay, I got, um, with the fluids, I got, um, the big 32 ounce things of Smart Water, I got three of those, so that should last me for a couple of days, but, um, I'm just slowly slipping on one, and I drank, about 40 ounces of water, like, sipping constantly, like, not a second was there when I wasn't sipping something. I was walking around the hallway with a cup of water in my hand, and I would take a sip, let a very, very tiny amount of it ruminate in my mouth, and then I would swallow, like, part, like, swallow it slowly, like, you're swallowing spit, and, um, but I think that my stomach is definitely more swollen today. Um, I found it a lot more difficult to get as much water in as I did the first day. Um, and I'm also in considerably uh, much more pain today than I was um, last uh, yesterday. So here's all that happened. Um, I arrived at the hospital at 5 a.m. on the 22nd of May. And... Um, you know, after going through the, the process of getting registered and all of that, um, the anesthesia came, anesthesi anesthesiologist came in and talked to me, um, as did Dr. Pilcher. And uh, after they were done talking to me, uh, they gave me the cocktail of nerve-relaxing drugs. Um, and very quickly, through my IV, they did that. And very quickly, um, I was extremely relaxed. last thing I remember before falling asleep was scooching over um, on the other bed um, while there were a lot of people moving around me and putting on things to the surgical bed and all types of crazy stuff. Um, and I remember, you know, the anesthesiologist saying, take deep breaths, deep, and then I was asleep. Um, I remember being woken up shaking, like someone was shaking me. Um, and then going back to sleep, that was the first memory I remember waking up was shaking, um, and, um, when I finally woke up, I was in the recovery room, and, um, I was saying, it hurts, it hurts, um, my chest, um, where the hiatal hernia was, uh, was sutured up, because even though I had tons of painkillers in me, um, that still hurt like a son of a bitch. Like, it hurts so badly. It still hurts. Um, I can't breathe in all the way. Um, I feel like fluid gets caught by it. And that's what it is. And I'm, this may sound crazy, but I feel like I can feel the staples rubbing against something in my body. Um, but... I'm just going to take it slow. I'm not going to be in a race to do 64 ounces of water or clear liquids a day. I'm just going to slowly incorporate as much 
uh, liquids as I can into my diet um, or into my, my days. That way I, I can stave off uh, dehydration because I really don't want uh, to go back to the hospital for dehydration. Um, so one thing I was kind of like pissed off about was the fact that they put a catheter in me. When I asked Dr. Pilcher if they were going to put a catheter in me, and he was like, it's not in the plans. Um, they took it out before I woke up, apparently, but still, I was really upset that that even happened. Um, I mean, it's just the principle of the matter. I'm not in any pain or anything, but uh, it's just the principle of the matter, you know? So, I'm, you know, I was being a little bitch about that. But, where to the wise people. Um, after waking up from anesthesia, you may or may not be able to pee, meaning you may or may not have control over your bladder enough to work the muscles to pee. It took me a good eight hours to pee, and once I did pee, I peed a lot. I kept peeing every hour on the hour. Um, the nurses were so fed up with me because I would pee literally every hour, and it was, like, ridiculous. I didn't get any sleep. Um... Because I was constantly up peeing. Um, but after um, Dr. Pilcher got there at 7 a.m. or 6.30 a.m. And he talked to me for a few minutes. And I uh, I was still pretty out of it. And I told him I was having a lot of pain still in my, uh, in my chest. That no amount of morphine or lower tab was really cutting. So he gave me some um, other pain meds. It starts with a T. I can't remember what it's called. Um, but apparently it's a very good painkiller, and it cut the pain. I didn't feel anything. I felt great, actually. Um, I didn't feel like I'd even had surgery. Um, but, um, I'm sorry if I'm looking, like, down. Um, I have the keyboard propped up on my hand, on my breast, because <laughs> I can't lay it on my stomach, and you can't hear me if I place it down on my legs, so, um... Anyway, um, so what else happened? I had a very lovely hospital stay. I was a little concerned with the hospital because it looks grody on the outside, but on the inside, it's absolutely exquisite. I had my own private room, which I was not expecting. I don't know how I got a private room, but I did. Um, they put me in, in a private room. Um, the nurses and the nursing staff were very, very nice, very, um, accommodating. Um, um, even though... Gosh, my boyfriend scared the living shit out of me. He was like, he was playing, because he's, he's very severely ADD, and he was playing with my IV line, which I told him not to do like 15 times, and I was about to smack him because it was getting really obnoxious, and he was like, there's an air bubble in your line, blah, 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 there's an air bubble, and he would like call the nurses, and like, he was like, I'm just going to pinch it off, so like he moves the clip, and then my IV got backed up, and you know, they were like, well, we have this reservoir thing here to catch any air bubbles. So, you know, like, it, you know, they were very nice about it, and, like, two nurses ran in, and, you know, I was just like, you sit over in the corner there, because you're seriously about to get punched or knocked the fuck out, because you're annoying me. Um, um, I do have my incentive spirometer. I try to use it ten times every hour, because, um, I am having difficulty breathing deeply, and I want to make sure I keep my lungs healthy. Um, there's not much room to walk around here at, um, in Steve's house, um, so if I want to walk around, I have to go outside, which means putting on bug spray, um, so I just walk around in circles in his room and, uh, call it a day for that, at least that's my plan. Um, um, sorry guys, I'm just trying to breathe. Um, but today I am in considerably, um, more pain, um, but... I did have that what did I do to myself moment when I couldn't pee and the thing in my chest was hurting so badly. Um, but I quickly was like, it's okay, it'll get better. Um, it will get better. So, um, yeah, well, I'm going to let it, you guys go. Um, this is going to be interesting. My IV, um, it like backed up or something. It like had a clot in it, like a blood clot in it. And, um, uh, they ended up, I was just like, just take it out. Um, it was close to the time for me to leave anyway, and I was really hopeful that I would get to leave, so, um, they took it out. But, uh, next video I'll make, um, either tomorrow or the next day will be of my incisions. Uh, they look pretty good, um, they're just, 
Um, they have stereo strips over them. One of them was leaking a little bit, but apparently that's normal. Um, just, you know, watch out for any other leaking. Um, I do have a compressor on, uh, which isn't that comfortable, but it's much more comfortable than without it. Because um, a lot of things pressing on the um, on it are, is just not comfortable. Um, okay, I'm going to go do my breathing exercises, and I'll um, update you guys later. Alright, peace out.